Hi fashionistas, this is Faith and welcome back to the channel. You've reached fashion and fitness done right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Today ladies, I'm a little late getting started so I want to say good afternoon to everyone because it's now afternoon. But as I said, they, I do have a wonderful um, segment for you today. Um, I, I am ready to roll so here we are. We have our pen, we have our pad, we have our notes. And so let us get ready to move. I want to ask you how you're doing today. Welcome back to the channel. How you doing? I want to ask you even now to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Remember, we share the information and that's what helps the channel to grow. Although I am a firm believer in um, liking and believing that I, I want my numbers to count so much more than I count my numbers. And so with that said, this is one of the reasons why I ask you to comment like and comment and let's be interactive with one another so I'll know what it is you like and what it is that you don't like and we can uh, pursue the things that you like. Today, remember to um, support the in the Instagram and Facebook, the, the Gram and Facebook. Usually if I'm doing something, anything specific, I usually uh, put the information on Facebook and sometimes I'll post it in the gram so that you can keep abreast of what it is that I'm doing. As you can see, I have on the outfit of the day. I recently shared this with you, this beautiful plaid knit dress. Remember, everything in the season is going into plaid. And so um, some of plaid, some of the fashion uh, for the season is plaid. And so I've got this beautiful knit dress from... I think it was Amazon. You remember what it was? I think it was Amazon. And so I'll leave the link for the uh, outfit of the day, which was uh, an Amazon find. And also, I have a fragrance of the day. I stumbled on this fragrance buying my husband's fragrance. I bought my husband a fragrance from Hermes, and I shared it with you briefly in one of the other segments. But uh, you know how they always send you a little extra something? So I was sent this beautiful fragrance. It's called Win flowers and it's by Creed. It is absolutely delicious. This is a fragrance and I want to put the picture up and I'm going to tell you why. This is a fragrance that I'm hoping that I get for the holidays. It's a little pricey so we have to be <laughs> it really I'm trying not to I'm trying it was just a little sample so I'm trying not to use it all but when I say it's absolutely delicious this is an absolute okay fake put it down. It's an absolutely delicious fragrance, and I really want to you. I really want to hopefully get it as a gift for the holidays. Um, Wind flowers from Creed. Oh my goodness, it's pricey, but I think it's delicious. Maybe one of the kids, or maybe all the kids, could chip in and hint, 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 hint. Moving on from here, ladies. Um, today's content, believe it or not, what we're talking about today is we're talking about the three G's. Great gift giving ideas for her. That's why I made mention of the fragrance. Wink, wink. Yes. And so this is, um, as, as you know, the holidays are here. We've already celebrated Thanksgiving and we're moving into uh, the holidays toward the end of the year. And so... I have, I wanted to do something different this season. I didn't want to do the same old, same old, same old gifts. And so there will be similar gifts that we normally give um, to um, family members and loved ones, like cl the, the cozy, um, you know, pajamas and things like that. But I'm trying to put just a little spin on my gift giving ideas. And so if you um, would bear with me as I present them to you, uh, let us, let us get started right now. And so, um... I have today, okay, the first one up, I wanted to do, you know, I love luggage. I, I really, if anybody that knows me knows I love a nice piece of luggage. I love to, it doesn't always have to be over the top expensive. Um, I do have a designer brand here today though. Yes, I have, I have two sets of different types of luggage and we have... You know, some travel uh, mirror. I have a travel mirror, a stationary mirror, cozy throw, robe and socks. Let me just give you a heads up. I have a watch case. And the reason why is because I really love watches. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about leather gloves. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make mention about gift, um, about gift cards. I want to make mention, especially to those that give gift cards when they know they should be doing a little more than a gift card. 
you're gonna leave that alone. And lastly, you know, the old the old thing that comes into play that's always the safe gift, and that's perfume. And so that's it right there. And I think I jumped ahead of myself, but we're just gonna keep moving. So today, as I said, we're focusing on the uh, we're focusing on Mad Glimishka. Bad Bad Glimishka. This is a designer brand, and I have the Bad Glimishka um, travel bag. And let me get my notes up so that I don't forget anything. I have my phone over here. I have everything set to go. When I say I have everything set to go, but I didn't set it to go. Now I have to set it because I forgot. Okay, and so where are we? We're at. Okay, give me a minute to find it. Okay, and this is called the Barbara Tote. I think I need to come down a little bit more so that you can see me, right? Just a little bit. You see my beautiful background? I don't want you to see it. I have a big mess going on over here, but that's all the stuff that I'm going to be showing you. All right, so um, this is the Barbara Tote Weekender Travel Bag. And this is a designer bag. As I said, it's Bagley Mishka, um, the designer. And this is the Weekend Travel Bag. You can see it's gold. We got the beautiful gold monogram. This is uh, material. It's a very thick textured material. I didn't take time to read it, which I probably should have. But um, as I said, this will be someone else's gift. So I just wanted to show you on the back. You know how this goes over top of the bag, over top of the um, the travel suitcase when it's when you're traveling. Everything is right there. I'm kind of ahead of myself right now. That's why I don't like to do my videos in the afternoon. I kind of like everything to be done early because I feel like I'm moving um, at a good pace when it's early. Today I feel like I'm dragging behind. So I'm about to open up the bag and I want to show you the inside and the detail. I just put a pillow in there to stuff it. Okay. And so this bag is absolutely gorgeous. You see it has the MBs. It has the, um, oh Lord, I just pulled the whole chair. Magli Mashka. Magli Mashka. MB designs is monogrammed all the way inside. It has one zipper pocket on this side. It's a beautiful weekend. And then it has um, on the opposite side, I turned it all the way around so that you can see. And then it has um, one, one big pouch side and then it has a smaller one. And I believe this would be for the phone and this would be for the passport for that person that just loves traveling. When I say this bag is gorgeous, it has an open a, a zipper pocket here, or you can put the passport here, I guess, for easy access with the zipper pocket there. And again, I said that you can fit it right over the, um, the suitcase, which I absolutely have the suitcase here. We're moving relatively swiftly, which is kind of cool. Okay, and again, this is like a, um, as you can see, I hope you can see it. Now, I don't know, um, if it smells like leather to me, but honestly, um, I got it for such a good price. I, mean, I don't know. I don't want to call it if I'm not if I'm not sure, but um, I'll check it and maybe I'll leave it down in the information descriptions when I leave all the information and the links, by the way, down in the description box where you'll be able to find or purchase this beautiful bag because I got it during. I think I bought this during Cyber Monday, and when I say I'm gonna put this back. When I say that this was a phenomenal find, I love when I can purchase, I can get a good deal. Oh, that's why I love this channel, because it, it, it gives me the opportunity to go out and try to find and try to beat the last deal that I got, <laughs> try to do better than the last one. And so this would be that beautiful bitch bag, Bagley Mishka, Bagley Mishka, Bagley Mishka Weekender bag. I'm about to show you the three-piece set, okay? I have the, the one piece, I have the smallest one here. I think this is a 19 inch. Okay, so I'm gonna put the picture up for you now if you bear with me. Yes, this is called the Mia three-piece expandable retro luggage set. And this is again from Bad, Bad, Badly Mishka. Lord, they're gonna take my head off about you. See, I just, I just did it, but I'm going to show you a video here now because I realize this is not going to work. I thought I would be able to sit. I just knocked the camera over and you see all my mess over there. All right, let me pull it back this way. Give me a minute. I'm not stopping because if I stop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prolong it that much more. Okay, do you see me? 
great. Okay, let's continue rolling. And um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a video right now here regarding this beautiful bag. This bag is a hard case bag. Let me read the information that I have. It's Mag Magli Ben Mishka. It's the hard case three piece Maya expandable retro set. And it ties in beautifully. As you can see, it ties in absolutely beautiful with the weekend, um, with the weekend travel bag. And it's three pieces. I think I sh I'm show I hope I'm showing you three pieces here now as well. Again, ladies, this is something that's special when you're traveling abroad or you're just doing the, the small bag with the weekend bag and you're just going somewhere for the weekend. It is a show-stopping look. Let me tell you, this. This, I got this set. Um, one of my relatives asked me to pick up a nice luggage set. Now, hear me clearly, because I wanted to go out and I want them to understand. If they don't pick it up, I'm okay with it. I am. I'm going to be okay with it because I would love to keep it. But um, if they don't, if they don't, if they do pick it up, I'm going to be okay with it. And if they don't pick it up, I'm going to be keep okay with it because I really just... I'm really loving the look of this luggage. It is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I will leave a link. Be mindful, ladies, that although you might not catch up for the sale price that I did, it's the holiday season, and remember, things constantly go on sale because I caught that Cyber Monday. And if I paid over $200 for all four pieces, and the, and the weekend the bag was separate, but I think I really, I think I, I made out like a bandit. I really do. I think I, I really do think I did well. Okay, so moving on from here. So that was the first one. Okay, that was the first um, set of luggage. So we're moving on from here. I want to show you this beautiful set that I have. I think it's so adorable. And this is not a match set. I created it to be a set, but it wasn't a set. And this happens to be, I'm going to put the picture up there for you now. This is called, I believe it's called Mange. It is the Mange Makeup Two-Piece Cosmetic Bag. Now, I'm going to post it up the way they have it written here because they say that this is leather. And I want you to know that this is not leather. This is vegan leather, but they don't say vegan. It just says leather. It's the Cosmetic Travel Bag. All right, so you have the both of them together. And by the way, it comes in four other colors. Now, as I said, I love this. So I have it fully loaded. This is my, I'll come back to this. I have this fully loaded. Okay, I hope you can see it. See how pretty this is? It's just pretty. I, I have it already with my travel size products. I'm a bit of a, not a, I'm not a neat freak, but I just like things in place when I'm traveling because everything can be messy really quick. So I have everything packed in here and ready to go. You see my battery pack and um, a few other pieces here. So all the toilet, all the, um, all the toiletries that your lotions and all those different things, hair gel, everything that can go in there, bobby pins, whatever can go in there, that's that size that you can travel in, it's already in here and it's ready to go. And then I zip that up, right? And that's just, it's ready to go. And here it has another slot. And so you see I have my little comb and brush and I have a power source and I think those are ear pods right there, okay? And again, there's a few other pieces that possibly may go in there. All right, for the other side of the bag, by the way, this, once I'm finished packing, it will go down in the bottom of the next piece of luggage that I'm gonna show you. Or if I want it to look cute, I will carry it on the top with the luggage as I will show you in a few moments, okay? And this is the cosmetic bag. This is all the things that I'm going to need immediately that I will keep with me. So this bag, once I feel, I just recently, I just transformed all the stuff on my little Chanel cosmetic to this one. And so this one will now stay in my regular purse, all right? Or, or if I'm traveling, like I said, it might, I can't fit it in here, so I normally carry that there. And then I put a little tote bag and I'll carry that so I'll have the two. And um, now I'm going to show you, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh my goodness. I'm looking for it so I can read it to you. Okay. 
I don't I think I'm gonna to have to do again another segment I didn't think this out clearly this is what happens when I do things late when I do things late everything kind of goes um, uh, <laughs> everywhere except where I need it to go all right so let me pull the other bag while I'm pulling the bag over I'm going to show you uh, the picture of it when I say this bag oh Lord did I just do it again did you see me bump the um the camera oh I'm sorry guys forgive me fashionistas I'm sorry I'm trying to get it done here all right so now I'm going to show you the picture and this is when I say I love this I'm gonna to have to make a video and 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 edit it and put it here as we're talking this is the I believe it's Filario F-E-I-L-A-R-I-O I believe this is called the Filario Travel Weekender all web all leather now this bag that I'm showing you here this bag is leather this bag is leather it is the all leather Filario soft um, the uh, weekender bag and I love it, it you now you know this this is a uh, this is a beautiful design it, uh, I think it um, it says Filario but when I go inside of the bag to look I have to tell you that um, the the brand is V and N. It says designed in Paris, but it's V and N. And so I tried to do a little research to see if I could actually reach them directly. I don't know if this was a, a brand that was in business and then it went out of business and Filario bought up all the bags because I couldn't find them anywhere. But the brand inside the actual bag itself is V and N. A little bit, a little bit of information for you. Not that you really care. But I just thought maybe I'd let you know. And again, do you see the detail of this bag? It's absolutely beautiful. I hope I'm giving you a little demo, demo right here, right now. At least I, I'm, I'm looking forward to letting that be the thing. And so I'm going to leave the links. I have to say to you, this bag is so fabulous that um, I was sharing it with my niece and she said she was going for it and she had already put it in her in her cart she was planning to order it so I ordered her I ordered her one I did note that there weren't many left so if you're planning on getting this beautiful travel bag for the weekend and I think it was about a one I think it was about $189 and it's real leather it's a thick sturdy leather so you can take a little bump and bruise with that it, it can take a little licking and keep on ticking as 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 time x used to say years ago yeah this bag is fell and so i'm going to hopefully i'm showing you the two pieces together and how i would probably probably travel to the airport <laughs> pray for your sister pray for your sister okay so the, that's the second set of luggage the first set was the three pieces from Bagla, Bagley Mashka, Bagley Mashka. And the second one was the two pieces that I created to be a set that are not a set, but I wanted that look. So these I'm keeping. I know I'm not giving these away. I know these are going to be mine because I already stay, put my staple on it. Okay. So those are the two sets of luggage. And so we're moving on now. And um, if you give me a minute and I'll be right back with you. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, MG. I need to get up. Okay, thank you, ladies. I had to move quickly. Okay, so now we were finishing up on the uh, the, the black a weekender bag, right? And so we're moving right now. Oh, this is great. We're moving now to the travel mirror. Now this one I don't have here per se, but I want to talk to you about it just a moment. Give me, okay, I didn't turn everything back on before I started, which wasn't cool. Okay, so the travel mirror, that's the regular mirror. Okay, so here's the info on the travel mirror. The travel mirror is the rechargeable travel makeup vanity mirror. And with 72 LED lights. It's a fun touch portable lighted makeup beauty mirror. It comes in, it says three color lightings. It's dimmable through the touch screen, top, tabletop LED, folding, oh my goodness, cosmetic mirror with lights. It's great for traveling. Basically, it's a travel mirror that has lights on it. And as you can see, um, 
I was watching someone else. This is what made me want to include it because I was just going to use the stationary vanity mirror. And then I decided from watching their um, beautiful gift giving, I had decided to add this one into um, the gift giving because I had the suitcases and I thought this would be perfect to add to that. And now as they were discussing it and holding it up, it's about the same size, believe it or not, as my notes, my notepad. It was, it was a relatively, this is a large size mirror. I don't have the actual um, information here in my notes, but um, it is a large, it is a relatively large size mirror. Okay, so this would be great for my traveler. You know, sometimes the hotel lights when you're traveling, sometimes their vanity area is lit and a lot of times they're not lit, they're kind of dim or you're looking for a, that particular light. And this one says it has three different color lighting, so you can switch it up, which is really great, okay? And then we're going to move on from that one, and I wanted to show you the stationary lighting, and the stationary lighting, which I absolutely happen to have here, okay? The stationary lighting is, and this is the Makeup Mirror Vanity Mirror with lights. It has two times, three times, 10 times magnifying, magnification on the mirror. So I want to show you how it comes. I don't, it does light up. I need you to know that it does light up. I didn't bring it because I really didn't have any way to plug it for you. And it has a, you have to plug it in. There is no battery involved. You do have to charge it up and plug it in. And so you turn it on in the back and then it would be the touch lighting right here. And then it has three different magnifying mirrors. As it said, let me read it again. So this is the two, and this is the three, and this is the 10. I think this is the two, the three, and the 10, and this is the normal mirror right here. Let me try it again. This is the two, this is the three, and this is the 10 over in the corner, and this one in the mirror is the regular mirror. Um, it has a little station area where you can drop like your bobby pins or even your makeup as you're preparing to get ready. I'm trying to be careful how we are I show. I don't want to blind anyone, you know what I mean? I don't want the light to blind you, okay? And um, can you see that? So this was relatively priced nicely. And as you, this is the one that stays home. This is the stationary one. So here's the button right here. It's a little circle and you just touch it and it would come on, it would come on. I think it's three touches, one, two, three, and then it would go off. I think it's one, two, and off. No, it's one, two. One light, second brighter, and then off, okay? And so this is how you would use this beautiful, and I have it sitting on my vanity. Oh, I should've took, showed you a picture of that. I have it sitting on my vanity, and it is absolutely beautiful. This says that they had over 6,615 uh, four and a half star positive reviews. So. Um, I think the ladies are absolutely loving this, all right? Something good to know. Oh, I just realized it says that I can put batteries here. See, I just, and I just noticed that. Well, I'm not going to mess with it now because it feels like it's hard to open. Maybe you can load it up with batteries. I always use the, the cord, so I just noticed the battery pack in the back. So when I go in after this is over, I'm going to test it to see if I can just use it with only batteries because if I can, that would alleviate, um, I don't use it that often to leave it plugged in. So I think I would prefer to use the battery and free up my electricity, if you know what I mean. Okay, and so moving on, where are we now? So we finished, we finished uh, both vanity mirrors, right? So we should be now, we did the travel mirror and the stationary mirror. Okay, what's next but a beautiful, I have, I have messed everywhere, guys, I'm sorry. What's next but a beautiful, cozy throw. I don't know about you, but Faith loves a cozy throw. And let me just read to you. It is the Inland Sherpa throw blanket. I'm going to put the picture up while I'm reading. It is the Inland Sherpa throw blanket for couches travel. It is a plush, cozy, lightweight blanket. Soft fleece fur throw blanket. Oh my goodness. Big fluffy Sherpa. It amazes me how they keep repeating the thing, same thing over and over. So basically, it's a big, fluffy Sherpa blanket, faux Sherpa blanket. When I say nothing better than rolling up and watching all my favorite girls on YouTube, <laughs> here I am right here. When I'm ready to watch the girls, especially if they got a long video and they've traveled somewhere and they're about to share it, this is me, my fluffy faux fluffy faux Sherpa blanket with my iced coffee. Excuse me while I sip. 
Oh, that really looks good. Yes, this is how I roll. I love, love, love it. I know it can be it can be presented beautifully if you leave it folded. Some of them even come with their beautiful own bows, but I I have since taken it off. And again, this is going to be something that will be mine because I have a few of them in here. I got gifted one last year for my birthday. These are these are things that I really love. You roll them up, you stick them down in a bin, in a basket you know, near where folks can grab it when they're about to watch a great movie or something like that, where there's about to be some fun and family just want to nestle together and, and, and cozy up together and just, you know, pop popcorn or sit outside by the fire. Um, however you want to do it, sitting outside by the fire, you can guarantee I'm wrapped up in this because at this season right now, it's not freezing, but it's definitely snuggle weather and so this is a great gift ladies all right just a great gift to think about giving again everything is about the presentation remember what i always tell you love is in the details hint hint love is in the details yes and so this is why i love a cozy blanket and so we're going to move right along i also love a nice robe if i'm not mistaken let me move on we talk about this all the time. I'm looking for the information so that I can read it to you. Okay, I don't see her. Give me a moment. And yeah, here it is. I, I don't have a, a cozy robe here. Um, I believe mine is in the laundry right now, about to be washed. But I did want to talk about it. And I did want to use this beautiful color, this beautiful purple robe. I'm going to post it here now. It should be going up. This is the Premium Women's Plush Soft Robe Fluffy Fleece Sherpa Shaggy Ward uh, Back Robe. I love this robe. I love this particular color on this robe. I'm not a purple color wearer, but I thought I, I would put it up because it just looks so, it just looks so comforting to me. And it comes, this robe comes in about 10 different colors. Okay, ladies. I also want to tell you that it has over 5,381 four and a half star reviews on it. So somebody is really loving it. Also, what I said, I didn't want to do the same old, same old. So I didn't do pajamas this time. And I didn't do a few other things. But I did do the socks. And we have the Bare Barefoot Dreams Women's Cozy Chic Socks. I love the barefoot socks. These are, if I put them on in the house, I'm good. I normally, I had on a pair, again, Friday is normally my wash day. By the way, this is Fantastic Friday. I bypassed things on Thursday. Um, yesterday, if I can just put a pin here and tell you, yesterday was a me day. Yesterday was pampering me, facial, the bubble bath, um, everything that I, that I needed to do for me was done for me to so just I and I really felt that I needed it because I got up to do uh, my presentation to prepare this segment and the more I sat the more I realized I needed the time for me and so that's just a mental note for somebody out there that is so consumed with getting it done that you forget you take that minute take that time to, to pamper you okay pulling the pin all right, let's get back. All right, so these socks are so cozy. They are comfortable. Oh, they are plush, and I absolutely love them. I absolutely love them. Okay, so let's see where we are now. I think I'm going to be continually moving. All right, and we are, I didn't put any numbers because I didn't want to kind of keep up with numbers. So we did talk about the throw. You notice I didn't put it anywhere. It's still here with me, right? Okay, so we talked about the, the, the throw and the robe and the socks. This next gift is, it's really, I think in my presentation, I am being just a tad bit selfish because I love a good watch. I love a fun watch. I love a watch, period. And this particular gift idea can go for either the husband or the wife. It can go for him or her. I'm doing it for her, and I might come back when I do the gift, great gift, uh, gift giving ideas for him. You might see these, this same thing. And this is a beautiful. Let me find it so that I can read it before I put it up. I'm almost busy over there. Okay, I don't see it. Okay, that's the other way. 
I apologize, ladies. I had everything in, oh, here it is. I had everything in alignment, but apparently I didn't. And here we have the 24 watch box. It is the glass, it is the glass top black. This thing has so many, I'm gonna read to you like you see it there now. It's all over the place. I don't know who, who does the, uh, who does the information that goes out. It is the 24 watch box, watch case, glass top, black display, organizer, faux leather, and then they got a bunch of numbers. Basically, it is a faux leather watch box with 24 case faux leather watch box. When I say I love this watch box, I need two hands to open it. When I say I love this watch box, I love it. You'll see every Pretty much every watch that I have in here except uh, one that sits in its own case. But when I say I love this, I love this watch box. I have, look, I'm trying to show it to you. I have the watches toward the top. You might see a couple missing because I have the bracelet on and one of the watches on. So you probably see two spaces missing. Normally at the bottom, I put my bracelets at the bottom. But all the watches, and let me be clear, I have all types of watches here because some of them are expensive and some are not. I'm a lover of a watch and it really doesn't matter if um, if it's an expensive watch. If some of them are fun watches like my little pink one here. Oh, I might have paid maybe $10, $15 from it from Groupon. I thought it was so adorable and when it came, it really was adorable. And then I have the more expensive watches at the top. But again, um, I, I really... I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I wear them and I love the display of them. When I get ready to get dressed, if I go to the watch box and I open it up, or either I can look through it because of the glass and I can pretty much see which one will go with what outfit as I'm getting dressed. So it's fun and it's comfortable. Also, those of you that remember I had the eyeglass case, I don't think it's the same brand as this, but it's the same type of idea as a gift. You know, especially if you knew someone that loves doing different eyeglasses they love all tip different types of eyeglasses i think that one displays uh maybe eight eyeglasses um that would be a great gift idea as well uh i'll leave that i'll just put that link down there um underneath this one so you'll know that it's the glass it's the eyeglass uh case display and that's a great way for someone who has beautiful sunglasses and they want to display them and they're preparing to get ready. It's just it's just like anything else when you're getting ready and it's just easy preparation. And so you get to do that. And again, I don't remember the price, but I'm sure. Oh, wait a minute. The price, oh, it's on sale. It was $53.99. They have a 26% sale. And now it's selling for $39.99. Now you know how these prices go up and down and change. And they might even be a little cheaper because of the holiday. So it's good to just look, to check, click the link, check it just to be sure. I'm going to leave all information for everything that I've shown you today. I've done my homework, I've done my research, and I have links available for everything that I've shown you today. There will be an available link for it, including the things that I'm about to show you, which I don't have pictures for, but we're going to talk about them nonetheless. Okay, so we finished the watch. The, the the watch case the glass showcase and now another beautiful gift to give are and I, I I'm always a lover of this I love giving gloves I love giving leather gloves um, I wanted to share with someone that might have to um, mail your gift to someone so I took this this is this is a, a box I ordered a pair of gloves I ordered a few things from Ralph Lauren. And so I'm going to show you the high-end glove and I'm going to show you uh, the low-end glove. But again, the impact is the presentation. And I wanted to do it this way. So if you're sending a gift to someone through the mail, I think this is an adorable way to do it. So if you ordered them some nice leather gloves, right? Now, these are from Ralph Lauren. So the presentation comes, this is the regular box that's coming through the mail, but they get the whole, they get the whole shebang because once they open the Ralph Lauren box, they're going to get the details. 
Remember the love that I talk about that's always in the detail? So the box is going to come. Ralph Lauren is going to do what they do. They're very conscious right now. So they have everything done with brown paper. I just left the gloves up and out where you can see them quickly, okay? But again, they have sustainable products in here. Um, if, you, if they happen to send it in a gift-giving box, you're going to get the gloves within the gift-giving box inside the box, inside the total presentation. So they open it up, they see this beautiful box, and then they go inside, they pull out the gift-giving box, and then they open the box, and then they see their beautiful monogram, Ralph Lauren monogram leather gloves. Now, that is simple elegance, must I say. That is, and again, this is how Ralph Lauren always does for those of us that may not shop with Ralph Lauren. Now, don't, please don't think I'm trying to be insulting. I'm trying to make a point about the beautiful presentations of some of the more upscale um, uh, brands that are out there. Again, so this is a beautiful way to do it. Now, you know that the, the gloves, they may not be... They might not be cheap, but they won't be over the top expensive. This will be a beautiful way to present a gift to someone that you love, all right? And so again, all this sustainable product, I forgot to make mention. So I pulled it out ahead of time so that I can make it, sh so that I can show you. But it's going to come, you know, wrapped in the Ralph Lauren paper underneath all of that, that's, that's uh, sticker there. So they're going to have the total wow factor is what I'm trying to say. They're going to have that experience in the wow factor and then they're going to open up their beautiful uh, gift from you and um, have, a, have a moment. Now, this was the high-end leather glove, but I also have the lower-end leather, leather gloves and I got these a while ago from eBay. And I thought these were equally as beautiful. Now, I don't know if you could, can you see the detail on there? Okay. And what I normally do, I, I love giving leather gloves sometimes. And so I usually buy a bunch at one time, right? And what I love to do, and this is just something that I'm going to share for those of you that might have, that might um, need a little idea. Okay, so this is what I would do. I normally take the gloves. This, it might not be as easy as it looks because I'm going, I'm showing you now, right? And I will fold them up and I will make them tight. Okay, she wants to act up right now. And I will fold them tightly and then I will fold them around. They're supposed to be even, but you see this one, this one is far over here and this one isn't. But you're supposed to keep them even and then you tie a ribbon around, around the glove and then you get those little 99 cent little bags, you know, that are about this big and you open it up, you get a little piece of tissue paper, you put the tissue paper in, you tie the little ribbon around, you stick it in the bag and you present it and it is absolutely fabulous. It is a beautiful gift. And again, I said I got these from eBay. Yeah, I got these from eBay. They might've been about 20 bucks. 20 bucks, 15, 15 to $20, $25 tops. It's been a minute, I don't really know. But again, great and ready for gift giving. Very inexpensive, but very posh at the same time, if you know what I mean. And it's always, my thing, like I always say, I'm a firm believer that love is in the details, ladies. And this is why I always like to present things a certain way. Okay, and lastly, we've done, I want to talk about a note to the gentleman. Okay, gentlemen, if you're listening, I know I'm going to offend one of you, but I want to say this to you. When it comes to gift giving for your lady friend, please, gift cards are wonderful. They are wonderful. But a lot of times, if she's not looking for a gift card from you, please don't give her a gift card. And it doesn't matter what holiday it is, because most women kind of think it's just kind of a thoughtless gift and anybody can purchase a gift card and give it away, you know? We want more than that, especially from our children. Why am I going here? Why am I going here? Apparently I need to say it. Don't come at me too hard in, in the comments, but um, we, we look for, uh, it's a great idea. The gift card is a great idea. I'm a gift card giver and I'm a money giver. But when it comes to my children, my husband is sort of like me, so I don't, 
I don't ever expect him to give me a gift card, but because he's a gift giver like I am. We love to, we love giving gifts. My granddaughter, in fact, told me that was my love language. She said, Grandma, you always give gifts. You, that's your love language. I thought that was so sweet. <laughs> I received it and the love that it was said because it was just that sweet. Okay, so we have to be mindful. Um, gift cards are great, but when it comes to that special someone, if you're giving it as an addition to something thoughtful that you've already given, it's wonderful. But if you're giving it as the gift and say, hey, I got your gift card. If she looks over her glasses at you, don't be surprised. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm coming back. Lastly, the old safe way to go, especially for me, is when we think of perfume. Perfume is always easy peasy. It's a thoughtful gift. I recently purchased, again, I did purchase the Ralph Lauren. I wanted to try the Beyond Romance. And this is the one ounce Eda perfume <laughs> spray. And I also got uh, Jimmy Choo. And um, this is the one millimeter um, Eda perfume from Jimmy Choo. Um, and it's funny, they both smell very similar. But um, I like them both. I really do. I like them both. But uh, I think I got this. I can't remember now. It's a beautiful bottle. I didn't mean to make this a long, drawn-out thing. It's a beautiful... Jimmy Choo's bottle is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, I can't remember what it smells like. We'll probably do a review because I still have to um, review my husband's Hermes fragrance that I bought for him uh, before I left. Um, before I left. And this is the Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance. And this bottle is so cute. I didn't realize it was going to be this small, but again, it's a beautiful bottle. You know, I love a beautiful bottle. So that's it, ladies. I think we've come across everything. Yes. Remember, it's always about the love that's in the detail. Um, presentation, I think, is everything. I think thoughtfulness is everything also. When we take time, when we're giving gifts, to be thoughtful about the gifts that we're giving and just 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 give them with the love that was intended give them with the love that was intended that's what this whole season is about it's about the love that was intended he came jesus came this is the season that many are celebrating uh, his birth although this was not the actual time of his birth we don't know when he was born but one thing i'm grateful about i'm grateful that he was born that he stepped out of eternity and he came into time and he did it because of love. And that's what this celebration is about. This is the season. He is the reason. He is the reason for the season. I hope that you have a fun time in your gift giving. I hope that you remember to put a little love in your details of your gift giving. And ladies, believe it or not, that's it. That is it. We have covered, I didn't even number them because I didn't know where I was going today. So I'm happy that you sat with me through the um, different uh, gifts that are here. I hope that you find something special that you like. And um, remember to tag me in the comments if you pick up something that you like from here. Um, let me know something that you might want to see for the men because I need some help with the men. Um, I'm asking my husband for some high and low um, price points for gift giving for the men. Sometimes he can get stuck in high and don't want to go low, but I need some help in the low price points of the gift giving, okay? That's it, ladies. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Ladies, remember that we can really do all things through Christ because he has given us the strength because great is the he. Yes, yes, yes. Great is the he that is within us that anything that we will ever come up against in the world and remember to be well. Did you see my little background that I created? I just moved the pillows over, ladies. Don't panic, okay? I'll see you soon. Be well. I don't know. <laughs>